guys welcome to comfy cozy up so we're doing a weekend it was supposed to be longer but a girl being busy and stayed up late and slept most of the day i didn't get up to like 11 30. got some you know get get up decided to uh do some meal prepping well, start cooking it. I haven't ate yet. Um, I ate breakfast, but I haven't ate any dinner or anything like that. Because it's only 3 o'clock. But, guys, it is dark. But I got my lights. So, I only have one in because I didn't want it to be too bright in here. But I got my boxes because I, I broke the, the last one. I dropped it and cracked. It, it's just, it was done. But I've had that one for probably good, probably about 8 years. So, I can't complain too much. I didn't, you know. But... And it was really, really affordable at the time when I got it. This now, I got a set. So I have two box, two umbrella. I also got a backdrop, which I'm going to utilize. And the reason why I got all of this is because now that I'm going back to blogging on the regular, which is a new blog today, this dress, which I'll talk about in a minute. And I have a remote control. So I'm going to do my best because... My issue sometimes was the fact that I didn't have no way of like taking photographs because who's going to take photographs of me? You guys know I live alone. I'm, I'm, am I single? I don't know guys. That's a different conversation. <laughs> um, so I, um, I wanted to make sure I could do stuff on my own and just utilize and watch some video of people who have been able to do it without anybody. You know, your remote control, proper lighting. I'm going to make it work because I want to maintain my uh, weekly blog post. I put that on my vision board. I'm going to maintain it. And I s did not do anything last week. And not because I didn't have anything. I have literally maybe three more blog posts that I haven't posted yet. Because I've been writing every moment that I have free time. I just sit down and write. Um, but I made it happen. So if you've seen this, the blog post is already up. Go check it out. And... Yeah, and thanks for supporting because I, I, it's quite a, the traffic has been coming through. I'm a little surprised, but I'm also grateful. So I am like enjoying it and I want to maintain so that I keep having fresh stuff on there since people are coming to the blog. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Now that I've got that out of the way, um, let's talk about crafting before I go on and talk about. We're going to end this with books, but we're going to probably have to stop I'm going to pause in between this vlog because I didn't write all my notes down. But I read a lot from one particular author. And I'm going to give you why this was like, I was excited. <laughs> I'll tell you why. But for that, before that, we're going to blame my mother for the crafting moment this week. Now, I did finish the pants, which I'll probably put somewhere here. And it's the, the, the lounge pants because I, you guys know I ruined the cardigan top. And I'm so mad because those pants are so pretty. The color is so pretty. Um, but I realized that I could have done it another way that would have prevented all of that. So now that I know that, we're going to fix this the next round. Now, I, you know how I feel about my mother. She's the best. But she also was doing the most. Because now she's telling people I can sew. Guys, I'm two, I'm two years in. I am two years in. Two years and about three months in. I am still a rookie. Still learning stuff. Especially working with stretch fabric. That is like the thing that I'm struggling with. I find I do better with cotton. But stretch fabric, I'm still struggling a little bit with the tension issue and all of that. Um, and, but again... So this is what happened. So let me get my phone. So my mom running her mouth telling people I can do this, whatever. So my niece, I guess, that's where she get it from because I've never had a conversation with my niece about that. Oh, let me uh, silence this. So what happened was, my she I get a message from my niece because I didn't answer the phone because I don't recognize that number because it wasn't her number. Um, she was calling from another person's phone and I didn't have that number in my phone. But she left a message and it was auntie, can you make me a dress? And I'm sitting here like, can I do what? Um, I was immediately about to say no. And then I said, 
I, when I called her back, I said, what kind of dress? You got to show me what you're talking about. Because I, I can't, I didn't want to tell her yes or no. I want to see what kind of dress it was and if I'm capable of even doing that. So this is what she sent me, guys. So, I'm going to pull it up. There you go. This is what she sent me. And I said, oh, that's simple. I, I could definitely do that. The problem is, it needed to be this color. Like, this color or close enough. It had to be blue, but she wanted something like this. So I'm like... We, we're, we're gonna we're gonna struggle with that so I knew right away what pattern I was gonna use right away it was it was an easy pick so I decided to use McCall's uh, M8064 and of course this would be the dress so I said okay we, we got we, we got the, the pattern we, we got the pattern. We can do this. The struggle to find the color. And I got lucky. My local fabric store did not have blue stretch knit at all. And I was like, well, this is going to be a problem. So the only option is I would have to go to Joanne. And I was like, I really do not want to go to Joanne. Joanne is like a 35 minute drive. And I told myself I wasn't going to go in Joanne until like, I want to say March. Because I do damage when I go in there. You guys know I'm on that. Not. So I went and shocking. Shocking. Guess where I got it? Walmart. Walmart had fabric. That was the only fabric they had that was blue and that was knit and on top of that it was all they had was barely they barely had four yards barely had four yards and i knew this dress was going to be about three yards but i always want to get a little extra just in case i mess up something and so i was like and on top of that the quality i was shocked because i really thought Y'all see this blue? I don't know if y'all could see the material. It is stretch material. It not, it's not four ways. It's only two ways stretch. So it's going to go this way. But it's thick. I mean thick. Which is perfect for this time of the year. It is thick. 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 So I was like shocked. Because again, it's Walmart. So... I decided to make this. What I love about the pattern, there's six different pattern. So you have the crew neck here that is on here. And you have this one, which is uh, the scoop neck. And of course, this one is, um, I tried because I was like, let me test it out. Now, this would have been a better fabric type for what I did with this. As you can see, the scoop part is not that great and that's because this is really a fabric that's not going to stay it's, it is this is like a fabric you will make sweat sweat tops with um hoodie um um and let me show you <laughs> oh we got we got thread still hanging off of this all right uh i can show you this part um i don't know if you can see it you see the fleece inside? So this this dress is warm as hell. <laughs> this is a warm dress. And I was like, it's 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 scraps. It didn't cost much. I think I paid like six dollars for the entire for like four yards of this scraps. Because I, again I was gonna make a hoodie sweat top with it. So I was like, let me test it out on a scoop for myself. So when I remake this. I would know what, um, how it's going to span out and it's going to, or my sizing. So again, I like that it's loose, but I definitely could have went one size down. So I think I might do that when I get the proper, when I go through my stash and decide what I really want to use with this. But for my knees, I love this. It came out so nice. And the only thing left is I have not hemmed the bottom. Because I kind of got tired last night. And I was like, oh, I will hem this in to, um, today. 
because I want to put it in the mail tomorrow because I'm not going to Brooklyn. That's another thing. I'm not, I don't like traveling in the winter, so I'm not, even though it's an hour and a half away, I don't feel like it. <laughs> so I'm going to put it in the mail. So the goal to, today, well, tonight, hem the bottom and fold them up, put it in a little cute thing and put it in the mail so that she can have it ahead of time. So what I like is I'm hoping that they have, because if you see in the picture, it has a cob, She wear, it, you're wearing like a button up underneath it. But I don't know if they still sell it. I remember back in the days they did where you can buy just the collar section only. Because I think, I will, because I, I tried it on, it's, you know, I mean, she, we have different measurements, but not that off. Um, she doesn't have boobs like mine, but the, the she is plus size and she um, wide in certain area. And I tried it on, so I don't know how it, the shirt on there is going to be bulky. That's so I'm hoping, if not, I'll probably go on Amazon and see if they sell any of those collar where you just buy only the collar so she could just wear it under and have it because she wants the collar situation. If not, hopefully she has a you know, shirt that is very fitted that when this goes over it and the collar comes off, it works for her. I don't know where she's going or what event this is. That That's how much I don't pay attention. <laughs> I'm, I'm awful. But I just knew I wasn't going to go because it's the middle of February. I don't plan nothing in the middle of February. But it's whatever events that she needed because it had to be a blue. So, that's me rambling and talking about <laughs> this dress. I love it. I love it. I love this dress. And I tried it on and I was like, oh. I, if I had, if they had this fabric in like another color, I would, I would just definitely make it for myself as well. And again, again, because I made it in white, I know what I need to do, um, when I recreate it for myself. Um, and I, oh, another thing I didn't have this, the, I, I'm going to have to, especially the neck It's done, but I want to surge it off a little on the neck. I did a surge the sides. It is, it's nicely i um, done but I didn't because I thought if it doesn't fit I don't want to have to take out serge having a pull apart serge is just not for me so I figure I will leave that and if it if it fits her and, and you know after she wears it she can always I can always get it back from her and serge it off um, so hopefully keeping our fingers crossed it works out for her and again it, it's not that it's the same length as the one I have on now which is about knee length it hits my knee um let's see how far I can go back and you guys can see where it hits me there you go so it hits about my little little over my knee um but she so was about the same height give and take I think I might be an inch tall on her um but I don't again she didn't give me where she wearing it to so I don't know <laughs> so I don't know um if I need to take off an inch I might I might remove an inch when I well well when I hem it we'll see um because again I love the, the length of it for me I love the length of it this is like a really nice pattern and I'm I'm here for it um uh, what are some up to what are some up to so I am excited for these so I got these, um, I was inspired one of my, um, journal, um, buddies for my, you know, a journal mood. And she showed these on her Instagram. She only showed this one. And I saw this and the first thing I said was, I want it. And sure enough, I went on um, Amazon and it was on there. So I purchased it, but it is beautiful. And I just thought it would be great for, um, you know, Black History Month in in February. When I do a lot of my spreads, I can use some of these images. And then I noticed that they also have the fairies. Yay. So I got this because I have a book with, filled with fairies. But of course, they're not, any of them are black. And I was like, you know what? I want this too because I just love that they had that and I love the butterflies and the imagery that they have uh, so I broke the whole I wasn't gonna get nothing until March I had to because I didn't want these to sell out 
and they weren't expensive thank god <laughs> so um i will link these if you are uh, interested in in these um and again they're just gonna be so so good so good when i do spreads oh look, look at this look at this look at this ah so yeah so this is um yeah this is what i'm gonna be working with and add into some of my spreads for uh black history month um and that's the the whole thing so i'm gonna be taking this baby off and finish the hem and then i'm going to come back and talk about some bookie books so yeah uh yeah for now all right <laughs> Hey guys, I'm back at eight. Wrote my notes down because um, I want to talk about this author. Now, every year I try to find some romance author just to binge read some of their books, especially if they have a, a nice catalog. This author has a nice catalog, but she's not new to me. I follow her on Instagram. I follow her on YouTube. I love listening to her talk, but her books has never moved me the way I wanted to. I want a fangirl over this author and it's just, it didn't happen. A few years ago, I read three of her books and it was an okay read for me. I felt like <clears throat> it was just okay. I did not feel impressed. I was just like, okay. So I never felt compelled to pick up any more of her books, even though I pay attention to her. I know when she's releasing stuff. I'm a fan of her. I just like her as an author. I love what she talks about book, her writing process, the tips she's given. Especially what I'm doing my own writing with, uh, when I'm trying to come around and I'm writing these Caribbean romance. I love how she talks about her writing process. But I still want to get to her books. I still want to be attached to her books. I still want to love her books. And it just didn't happen till now. And I realized I like her thriller stuff. I like her more... Um, rush and suspense and that kind of books. So I read... A few of her books. Now I did start up with a contemporary, but I did like it, even though I thought I might not like her contemporary. Like I might not love it the way I want to, as as far as the three books that I read previously a couple of years ago. I just didn't find that connection. But I did like this one only because the you know the woman was a she was a badass, and that was I think I might love you. Now this is a series. That I will continue because I enjoy this. Now this is where you had Jocelyn. She is a um, college student. She's in her last semester. But she has a rocky past. She's that aggressive uh, female that will, uh, will kick your butt if she has to. Um, she does not care who you are. And it's because... And she's also the black sheep of the family. Her parents are like still together lovey dovey her sisters are doing well and then here comes she like what's wrong with you kind of sister and how the story pop off from the get go is good because she decided that she wasn't going to take it when she found out that the man she was with had a whole family a whole family so she she vandalizes this property and then took off to go see her to her sister because of the fact that she was hurting then forgot that the apartment her sister was in was sublet. Did not know at the time. Got in there. And then, of course, when she saw this man up in there, she react as in, and will react, defend herself. Give the man a proper black eye <laughs> and ran into the room when she realized, why is this man's stuff all over the room if he really is an intruder? It finally clicked. She called and realized that, yeah. And of course, this is a man now that's very upset. He, 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 you know, you in your home and <laughs> got knocked out, kicked her out. Then she got arrested. 
Needless to say, her past caught up with her. She got to do some community service. And how she ended up with this man at this man clinic to do community service is what made the story so cute and made Miss Thing a thing in this and how all of that happened between them and how he is that kind of person that shouldn't be attracted to women like that, but he likes the damsel in distress kind of women. So how that happened and how he was able to see her for who she was and realize that she was being a better person and how this incident that, you know, broke her heart made her gravitate to the past, the old her, um, that people still can't let go of. Love it. Love it. Love it. I was here for it. Let's get to the series that really, really let me know, you know, and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I'm the song in my head, guys. I'm a nine. I'm a nineties girl, eighties baby. I, I I'm here for it. So when you see this, I was like, the whole song was in my head. We we ain't gonna, we're gonna say the whole thing, but the Ashen King. What I like is I've read stories where they're in Vegas, they're having a good time, but I've never really had a story where the gambler. The poker player is the female, the one that can get you all your money. Never had that experience. Now, what I liked about it is that she has a very shaky past, but she's a protector. And in protecting, she's done some things. What she didn't realize those things were going to come back to haunt her later on um, in the form of an ex that didn't know to let go. Then you have King who comes from a wealthy family. They all, they have all the connection. When we say all the connection, we mean all the connection and you learn about it in the second book. This is a series. I liked in this how Asha is like, um, um, she, how she fought for King and how King don't know how to really say what he wants to say. He feels like by his action, that's good enough. But she wants to hear it. She wants to know. And also, he has a past. He was, you know, a man that was had his tragedy hit him. And it hit him in many ways that he didn't quite get over. So you have two broken people that, like, attached to each other. And how they somewhat heal in each other by acknowledging the things that they experience is how the story becomes really good. And of course, I learned so much about poker in terms of the, the game itself, because I am not a poker player. I'm that person that what you call, I don't know what the term they use, um, luck. Like, I would sit there and fake it and, and, and win. <laughs> yeah, don't put me on your team, because don't have that much faith in me, please. But I'm that person. But I was like, listen to some of this, I was like, ooh. Ooh, <laughs> poker. But I love that. I love the fact that they had a convention in this that she had to go and compete with big time poker player all over and how that happened. But I love that they talk about the connection with the game and how she plays and how it connects to her father who wasn't a good man and how that is how um she had became such an expert at the game and winning the game because of that past so i love that part of the story and i mean king is giving her the world in this i mean the man got the money the man got the money and he was he was doing it because she was different she she was different but she also had some some um things about the past his past relationship that was in common that scared the heck out of him but i love them two together and of course you meet ace in this because ace was king's bodyguard ace is a female ace is cutthroat ace would like get happy if you tell her she need to go kill somebody <laughs> she's gonna get happy and the spin-off is her storyline with the police detective that we also met in the first one who was helping them with their king and ash um asha with their mess and in this where Ace um, life is such a, a story and it do remind me of the, the there's a series on, on Prime that is called um, Double Cross. It's about the twins. They're twins, but they're male and female and they're ruthless and they're protective and there's things happening that they get themselves involved because they have to protect the innocent. And in this, you get in 
a bit of it where I felt like, oh, this reminds me of this. Except for this is a romance because the two male and female are romantically involved in the book. And so for this, what I liked is the fact that you really get to know uh, why Ace is the way she is. You get to know her past and what triggered her and also what she experienced that made her suppress her memories and now something happened to like stir it up and everything started coming she started remembering a lot about her past life people who she thought were just random weren't quite random secrets being exposed the 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 under um, line story of some of the things that she experienced what she did with the series is scared the heck out of me because at the end I was like no 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 and then I was just like oh, I love that she did that she has you she has you all the way to the end you literally don't know what is going to happen all the way to the end because she gets you in a tight situation in the storyline that you're like like Please don't do that. Please don't do that kind of reaction. And this is what I needed in her romance because again, some of her contemporaries just wasn't it for me. This was it for me. I am in, maybe because you see I started with a lot of thrillers and suspense, why I love this book so much, these two, because it did, it gave you all of that. So if you enter thriller suspense, but you, you, you're not a big romance, but you want to try some romance, but you like these. I think these is like, they're smart, but the smart is not so, the smart didn't take over the book. There's some books where the smut is just pretty much all the book. No, it's smut happened, but it didn't take over the storyline. There's so much going on in this that you're like, yeah, I'm here for it. So, I'm looking forward to continue. I did read some of the short story. There is part two where it's just the characters in part one where she didn't want to write a full-on no um, novel about. She did like a... Um, novella shorts for these and what I liked is that she did touch on some of the other characters but I didn't finish it so this is one of those ones I'm gonna wrap up tonight get me some tea and I'm gonna finish that and we talk about that when um, I'd wrap up I'm going to still get one more book in so I've got three more days I'm pretty sure I can read one more book and I'm going to tonight go through my pattern and decide what I want to what project I want to work on this week um and yeah and i keep doing that i did speak to my niece and i decided just because at first i wasn't going to say anything but she called me guys she called me and asked me about it and i'm like wow it was a good thing i did so it so i'm gonna send it off tomorrow and i did take a picture and show it she said yes it's good um and then she just had to figure out the white shirt um my mother said she had something that might fit her close because it needs to be some a white button up that's not going to be too loose because of the texture of it it's going to probably be baggy um but i'm still going to try and see if i find any um thing on amazon maybe that has where the collar just the collar part i know they used to do them i mean i i, I remember that but i don't know if they still continue and i don't want to have any um, I don't want her not to be able to wear this. Hopefully it's not too long. That's the only thing I'm, I'm concerned about. I think I got the, the sizing right, but I, I'm hoping it's not too long on her. Um, because I was scared I didn't want to cut it too short and then I didn't know exactly what it's for, but I already finished and I hemmed it. And I hemmed it to the point where I thought maybe if it's too short, but then I think I could have cut some more. But I, I, guys... She, she, she gotta take her time with me this is this is new territory i'm on and i hope this is the last i hope she don't get no idea that this is going to be her regular seamstress and need i say she got another sister and brothers yeah but um i gotta learn the power of no Anyway, guys, I will see you in the next one. And thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, I feel like I'm back with the, the sewing thing. Only because I'm, wearing, I'm I'm making dresses. And you know, that's my thing. So I am going to go back to some difficult stuff and um, get frustrated again. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. <laughs> All right. See you in the next one. Bye.